Yo, what's up guys, this is Dax here, and I'll be teaching you how to fucking sync cinematics and stuff with Twixter and... What the fuck was I gonna say? Twixter and... Timer Mapping, that's what it's fucking called. Alright, Twixter and private Timer Mapping, so... Let's find a good song. One hour later, two hours later, three hours later... Can you move it along? I'm all out of time, card. I'll just do that. Alright, anyways... I don't know why I just don't press import. Alright, LL to find the beats. Alright, let's... Let's just find one quick. Alright, right there, I guess, is fine. For a tutorial, but you probably wouldn't want this for... Uh, anything else, but... So I'm just gonna cut it. I don't really care. <coughs> Uh, and then right there. You don't you don't want it to be like the cinematic to be too long, otherwise it's gonna look like shit. All right, so I I need to find this. All right, now Control Alt T for timer mapping for the what I'm gonna do first. I'm gonna show you how to timer map first. So I'm gonna start right here. So just make a new keyframe because that's where you're gonna start, and then this is where I'm gonna end. So if I do alt and bracket and right here here I do alt that bracket and then I bring it in to here you see how it's way too long for this beat you just bring it in and snap it and then bring this in and then it'll be super fast but if you ran preview it uh it looks like shit so you wanna, um, fucking shit, hold on. So you wanna easy ease the keyframes by pressing F9, but if I do that at all, end my recording, so if you don't have F9 for some reason, uh, just go to easy ease, very right click on the keyframes, go to easy ease, then go to the graph editor, and you can see this is like a really fucking high slope, but... See how this is like a weird S shape? You want it to be like this way, so it like all right. So let me explain this. When the when the bars are going, these bars are going up, and at the beginning of the clip, that means it's going fast. And then in if it's going down at the end, that means it's going fast at the end. So you want it to be like fast, then slow, then fast. So if you got that, then it should look like this. So it goes fast, slow, fast. So you might you might have to like play around with it, but you see, like you can see that it looks a lot better. But anyways, if you want it to be faster, but you don't want it to be like this. Like if you understand where I'm coming from, like if you do it like that, then it'll be like a complete straight line, and it'll just like. I don't know, it'll pause like that. Yeah, that doesn't look good. Uh, so you wanna bring it somewhere around there and right there, so. Let's ramp preview that. <coughs> See, that one's a little bit too slow for my opinion. So, I think, like, bring it down, like, somewhere like that. But anyways, if you don't wanna use timer mapping, uh, and you want to use Twixter, I completely understand because sometimes the ghosting does it, does shit to you, so. Uh, so you, if you want to use Twixter, just, uh, enter in Twixter and I'll teach you how to do that too. I would just use regular Twixter because it's, eh, well, let's just use Twixter Pro since I have pretty good settings. Alright, so we already know we want this to be, alright. <clears throat> Keyframe the speed at a hundred and wait, hold on, change your settings first. Uh, I don't think I need motion. Okay. Alright, I have a I have a tutorial on shit for my Twixer settings, so if you need those. Um, anyways, on the end keyframe, you want to make it three hundred or whatever. F uh, match it, whatever you like. 
looks the best to you. See, it'll it'll like look weird at first. You might actually want to make it more than 300 depending on how slow you recorded your clip in. All right. I accidentally pressed F9. So, I am back recording uh where I accidentally pressed F9. So, anyways, I pressed easy ease and if you want to go to the graph editor, you'll see that it's just a straight line right now. But if you can find the middle in there somewhere, so around here, I'm going to say right there. No, let's go right here. Uh, you want to bring it to like 45. That's the max, that's the lowest you can go before it looks choppy. Uh, some people say it's 50, but I personally think it's 45. But, uh, yeah, see, you, you can see that that's not enough speed, so I would maybe, fuck, hold on, I would bump it up to, like, let's try a thousand on each, alright, now let's try that, yeah, so, it's all about personal preference. So I would say around a thousand for this clip is good, but it, you just have to like play around with it. And if you think it's a little bit too slow, you can like adjust this a little bit to make it like a little bit faster in the beginning. So let's try that. Yeah. So anyways, that's like sync. Um, Cinematics, and if you want to add black bars, it looks even better. Um, but anyways, that's how you sync cinematics, and yeah, if you like this tutorial, um, please feel free to leave a like on the video. It would means a lot, and subscribe if you're new. And fuck, I just dropped something. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be doing more of these, and I think next tutorial will be like, I don't know. I'll think of it, but anyways, uh, I'm out. See ya.